Hey guys, it's Joanne here, and today I am really excited to bring you a DIY video. I haven't done like a DIY video in a really long time, and uh, a couple of Dollar Tree hauls ago, I had picked up these little like miniature boxes, wood boxes that you can find in the craft aisle of the Dollar Tree. I came up with this idea to kind of uh, put these together and make uh, shelving for my makeup room that we're in right now. Currently, I have all of my nail polishes and stuff like in this other craft room of mine. Makes no sense to me, right? Like I, when I'm getting dressed and I'm putting on my makeup and stuff like that, I like to have everything. I'm, I'm attempting to get everything all in this one room. So the one thing that is left that is still in that craft room is my nail accessories. Stuff for my nails, my nail polish, and all the tools, etc. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to put a couple of white shelves up so I can be able to display some of my go-to nail polishes and some other nail accessories that I use. I'm probably not going to put everything up on the shelves. I just want something that's a little bit more of a decorated, just a simple decorative touch to be able to say, there's my favorite nail stuff. Hope that makes sense. So these are the boxes that we started with and let's just flip the camera down so I can kind of show you the steps that I've gone through so far and get you all caught up to date as to where I am in this DIY. First of all, we're gonna be started with one of these wooden boxes, like I said, that I got at the Dollar Tree. And the first step I did was I actually sanded the whole entire box. So I just took this, uh, this is a sanding block also that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. And I just went and went around all the sides to get everything nice and smooth. Including the inside. Like so. Then what we're gonna do is I just grabbed some parchment paper to protect my surface. We have a little paint tray. I got this paint tray at the Dollar Tree too which was pretty handy. And I also got the sponge paintbrush at the Dollar Tree. And we just went through and painted all the sides of the box. Once the whole outside was done, I just put it down and I let it dry overnight. After all the outside is dry, I went ahead and painted the inside and I also did a second coat on the outside and the inside. So I ended up doing two coats of the white paint. The paint that I ended up using, I did pick up some Dollar Tree acrylic paints, but be, I remembered I had some leftover wall paint from the painting of this room and I wanted to make sure that these were like an, an exact color match for white for my walls. So I just ended up using uh, the extra paint that I had here, but you can also use Dollar Tree Cells uh, white paint. So I ended up doing that three times. So we have three boxes completed. And then what I did was I glued them together. So I have some Gorilla Glue that I just put on the sides like so. And then once I put the glue on, I actually clipped them together with these binder clips that I had floating around my house. And I just let that dry overnight. This is what it looks like when it's completely dry. And so now what I wanna do is I wanna take my paint 
and I kind of want to touch up the areas where the glue kind of oozed out a little bit and kind of made it turn a little bit yellow. So I am going to put one more coat of paint pretty much around the top and the sides and the bottom. Um, not necessarily the back because the back is going to be up against the wall, but I do want to make sure the top and the front facing part is going to be um, pure white. And then of course there are, um, you know, the inside parts kind of got a little gunked up yellow from the glue. So I'm going to touch that up with some white paint. So now I'm just gonna let this dry overnight and we're gonna come back tomorrow and I am going to figure out how I'm gonna put these up on my wall and display. As you see, my it's a perfect fit for nail polishes and I also plan on using the top also for things that might not fit in the middle here. So I'll be back tomorrow. Okay guys, so now what I've decided to do is I'm going to attach these to my wall using this clear double-sided tape that I picked up off of Amazon. I will leave it linked in the description box below. So we're going to flip this over and I'm literally just going to put an entire strip on the back, give it a cut, and then we'll peel this off so that we can install it on the wall. Let's go. So I've already put the first one up on the wall and now I'm going to take the second one and place it like right here below it so that I can give enough space to be able to put anything on the top end of the shelf. So let's get this installed. And I'm going to grab my level app from my iPhone to make sure that everything is level. And then we are going to install. going to be it for my video today guys if you would like to see more DIY videos from me let me know in the comments below uh, if you are new to my channel please make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and that way you'll become part of my YouTube family and then bonus you'll get notified as to when I upload videos and when I go live on YouTube for all of you guys who are already part of the YouTube family thank you so much for stopping back on my channel I really appreciate your support you guys be awesome enjoy the rest of your day and I'm gonna chat with you in my next video Bye, guys.